What's up everybody, Justin here bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. This is Expedition Stout, their Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, just a little bit of a blurb on the bottle. This Russian Imperial Stout thirsts for travel. A huge malt body is, ba is matched with a blend of complex chocolate, dark fruit, and roasted aromas. This beer is ready to be enjoyed now or sit perfectly content in your cellar until the next journey. I am doing the former. 10%, I'm 10.5% ABV. Okay. Uh, quite brown in color, of course, dark brown. Um, I could see through it a little bit as I was pouring it, but this is uh, thick enough or enough liquid that I can't really see through it. As I hold up to the light, really just kind of some uh, some lighter lighter brown to burnt orange highlights, but it's it's a it's a dark dark brown beer. Uh, pretty head, pretty tan head, some uh, larger bubbles on there, but really not much to it. Uh, just kind of a a thin layer with a little bit of a ring around the edge. Okay, quite simple. Let's uh, get to it. Hmm. Um, fairly heavy mouthfeel is kind of one of the first things I uh, I note. I think really not uh, not too surprising given uh for a Russian Imperial Stout. Hmm. So plenty of chocolate notes. A little bit of dark fruit as well. There's a fairly, fairly prominent smoky or burned or charred kind of a note uh, at the very end of the tasting experience into the aftertaste a little bit Not really off-putting. It's almost right at that perfect level uh, That it doesn't overwhelm everything else or make everything else, uh, Make the rest of it kind of off-putting make the beer overall off-putting rather um, Yeah Definitely quite boozy at the outset of course at 10.5 percent so uh, no surprise there but really tasty, really nice tasty beer. Um, again, chocolate, maybe just a hint of coffee, but not much to it. Maybe towards the back there with the uh, the roastier notes and the the charred notes. Yeah, I kind of see coffee as a bit of a, an aftertaste as well. And I think maybe a little bit of a, an earthier coffee, uh, maybe something out of Asia, something like that. But yeah, some dark fruits in there as well. So maybe some plum. Maybe a little bit of cherry. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, but, uh, really just really terrific. Uh, straightforward, fairly standard, but really great. Uh, and well done uh, Russian Imperial Stout from uh, from Bell's Brewery. That is uh, Expedition. And so that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, but before I go, I just kind of want to make a note on playlists. I know I've commented in the past that uh, I've sorted where I'm at, I think, around 130 different videos now. I've sorted most of them by, um, by style. So um, pale ales, IPA, stouts and porters, so forth. Excuse me. But uh, now that I've done um, a handful of different beers from several breweries now, I'm starting to sort playlists by um, by brewery as well. So Bell's, I've done a handful of Bell's beers. So you'll see if you click on the playlists tab um, at the top of my my um, my YouTube channel page, click on the playlists tab. You'll see like a heading for Ballast Point Brewing Company or uh, Sierra Nevada or Bells, as I said, and so forth. Um, it's maybe about a half dozen breweries in total, but it's obviously it's one of the ones uh, that I like like a lot, or I can get get a lot of. Obviously, so um, if you're looking for a number of beers from a specific brewery, 
that's uh, something you can check out. So you can check out a number of things from Sierra Nevada uh, and so forth. So that again is in the playlist tab on my uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, you can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. Also feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.